Welcome back to another Fusion 360 tutorial and in this one I'm going to be showing you how to wrap text around a curved surface and to show you what we're going to be learning let's take a look at this so by the end of this video you'll be able to do something like this where you can wrap text to follow a curved surface like a cylinder or any other kind of curve so let's get straight into it and we're going to create a new design so we're going to go up to file new design uh, first thing we're going to do is just create a sketch and I'm going to go from the top down plane and what we need to do first is create an arc right we need to create a circle that's not fully completed and we can use this then in the sheet metal tool to unfold it so let's show you what I'm talking about so if we go up to create arc and we come down to center point arc we can place our first point which we're going to do in the center point and if we come up maybe 70 millimeters and click again, you can see if we drag to the right, we can specify the arc, right? But we, we basically want a circle, but we don't want it to be connected. So I'm going to type in 359 degrees, which is almost a full circle. And we're going to hit enter. And you can see what that's done here. It's basically created a circle. But if we zoom in up here, it's not joined together, right? And it, it's not a sketch we can select and extrude because it's not joined. But what we can do is use a sheet metal tool. So if we come up to the sheet metal tab here, we're going to finish the sketch first and then come up to sheet metal at the top left. And in here, there's a flange tool. And we're going to use that to create our sort of cylinder shape for now for this tutorial. So if we select the flange tool and then we want to select this line of the edge of the circle and it's going to ask us for a height basically so i'm going to make this maybe uh, let's try 50 millimeters that seems okay so we're going to go with 50. Uh, basically now we've got this sort of wrapped curved surface right but it's not joined together and that's important here so what we essentially need to do now is sketch onto this curved surface but you know if you go up to create sketch and you try and sketch here it's not going to let you because you can't straight up just go and sketch on a curved surface right it doesn't work but what we can do is unwrap it but first in order to unwrap it what we've got to do is turn this around and come to where we left this little gap so if we zoom in here to this edge where we've left the gap and we select that face if we come up to extrude we're going to need to extrude that out a bit. So if we just drag it slightly, we're going to drag it one millimeter. And you can see it's almost joined up, but again, it's, it's not fully connected. And that's important here. And you want to make sure your operations on join. And we're just going to hit OK for this. And notice now we've got this flat edge, right? So we're going to be able to unfold this now. So if we go up to uh, modify and unfold, it's now going to ask you to select a stationary entity. And if we zoom in, notice it's not going to let you select the curved surface, right? Because you can't unfold that. We need to select a flat edge. And that's going to be the extrusion that we just created. So if we click that, notice that the rest of it goes green. Now, what you need to do is on the menu here on the right, you want to tick this box called Unfold All Bends. And watch what that does. So if we click it, you can see that that's now flattened out our um, curved surface, right? If we hit OK, we're now able to sketch on this and then rewrap it. So if we go up to refold, just to give an example, if I click refold, you can see it's returned to its original shape. But again, if we want to unfold it, we go up to modify, unfold. We're going to select our stationary entity, which is that little extrusion, and it'll unfold it for us. So we're going to hit OK. I'm just going to add some text on here, so I'm going to up to create sketch, select that surface, and we can go up to create text, just place a point, and I'm just going to type in my channel name, so it's going to be the hardware guy, and I'm going to make this maybe 25, that seems alright, so I'm going to hit OK on that, and then you can position it. Uh, wherever you want so if we just grab this we can position it around I'm just gonna put it somewhere in the middle and it's always good as well to add in your dimensions so we can hit D on the keyboard just add in these dimensions just to keep Fusion 360 happy 
And now what we can do is finish the sketch. And now we can extrude this just like we would anywhere else, right? So if we click on the text, come up to extrude, it's gonna ask us for an, uh, an extrusion height. So we're gonna make this five millimeters. We see that sticks out quite a bit. So now that just looks like a normal sort of extrusion. But now what we can do is refold this to return it to the original shape. So up here on the menu, you can see this refold. If we click that, watch what happens. So there we go. If we rotate this around, you can see that we've still kept our original shape, but we've also got our text on there that's following the curve. And that's basically it. That's how you do it. Now, what you want to do probably is join this back up as well. So you can do it quite simply because it's such a sort of small gap. Again, you can just select the surface, hit extrude and just join it up. And make sure you've selected join and hit OK. And there we go, that just completes that for us. And that's basically it. So I hope you found that one useful. If you're a beginner and you're keen to learn a lot more about Fusion 360, I've created a course that's available on my website. It's an awesome course and I'll get you up and running with Fusion 360 really, really quickly. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in that. But other than that, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. So I'll see you on the next video.